Welcome back to Algebra. Well, we're going to continue adding and subtracting polynomials. These problems um, just look a little bit harder, but really when you get the hang of it, they're not any harder at all. So if we have, for instance, 2x squared uh, minus 3x minus 4, and then we're going to add to that another polynomial, 3x squared plus 4x minus 6. All right, so you can rewrite everything and drop the parentheses if it helps you. You definitely don't have to do it, but let's just go ahead and do it in this case. So what we have is 2x squared minus 3x minus 4 plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 6. So the reason we can drop the parentheses is because we can't really add anything here. So we're, we're basically done. So we drop it and we're just basically adding this and we start looking for like terms. The only thing you really need to know is that like terms in the previous problems just involved a single variable like x or t or something like that. But here we have an x squared and here we have another 3x squared, or I should say 2x squared and 3x squared. So these are actually like terms because x squared is exactly matches another x squared there. Let me ask you a question. Do you think these two guys would be like terms? Well, they both involve x, but are they like terms? The answer is no. In order for something in algebra to be a like term, all of the variables must match and all of the exponents must exactly match. If they don't exactly match, it's not a like term. So you have to be talking about the same variable and the same exponent. So this is a like term with this. The negative 3x is a like term with the 4x. Um, but for instance, these two terms are not like terms. So now that you know that, let's start hunting. We have a like term here, here. So we have a positive 2, positive 3, which means it's going to be positive 5 and you have to carry the variable, and you have to carry the exponent through. So 5x 